we're very pleased to see everybody here this evening and for Jean to sponsor this evening for the Art of Hosting. I've been a member of the team since it's been discussed and brought into Scotland. And this building, the Parliament building, is a building which in the foyer will say it's where the people of Scotland bring their concerns, their issues and the things they wish to discuss. And I think tonight that is very much what we are doing. And I was very pleased to be welcoming just at the latter part some young people from Young Scott who, who have also come here tonight. And it made me think myself, as a grandparent, we're looking forward to a century in which there are huge challenges. And there is not really the confidence that humanity is facing up to these challenges in a way which is going to resolve them. There is a big job of work to be done. It makes one feel individually very impotent. In the face of such a future, one is pretty powerless. On the other hand, we together, in this room, can do a lot together. And this is necessarily a global piece of work requiring learning between nations and that's why tonight we're extremely pleased to have colleagues from other countries uh, with us and be part of our evening. I'd like to ask to say some words about how he sees Art of Hosting and its relevance to Scotland at this point from Jim Mather, who has been extremely helpful in this journey so far. Additionally, that old advert for Croft Original Sherry <coughs> showed this wonderful, elegant guy in a dress ash with an all the right kit on, etc. And the strap line was, one intrinsically knows when something is right. Well, I, I think one intrinsically knows that this is right. I, I, I was in politics, I was sent to the folk of American Butte, as though I was sent to the stagecoach 300 years ago to go and represent them. And then when I got there, I regressed 700 years ago and four and walked horses with opponents and didn't give ground and had a pretty closed mind. and. Uh, but in my recreational time, I was out mind mapping and having conversations with people, discovering that uh, the worst thing can happen with open mindedness is you come up with a better idea. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think if we can get everybody in Scotland involved in this, then we'll get a very much better idea. Toke said something wonderful to me when he was in New Battle. He said, uh, You might go faster than your own, but you'll go further together. Mm -hmm. So the idea of 5.3 million people getting their ideas together and uh, becoming very much conjoined. It's just so exciting that I'm going to shut up and let that happen in this room right now. Thank you very much. Well, we're looking for a very interactive night. We're looking for your views, your contributions uh, to the process we have underway. Um, it's going to be filmed, so if there's anybody who would prefer not to have themselves on film, please let me know and we'll make sure that doesn't happen. Uh, amongst the entourage, we have Ursula from the European Commission. Who is not here in official capacity? She's here to bring information about how the art of hosting is used in the European Commission. And um, the first thing I'd like to do is to invite you each to have a short discussion for four or five minutes with a neighbour, possibly somebody you don't know, um, on the question why is it important for you to be here this evening? So if we just have that conversation now. <laughs> 